Hey guys, how's it going? So I've been tagged. I was uh, tagged by Laura, the manga hoarder, because I guess she knows how much I love tags. <laughs> and uh, she tagged me to do the graphic novel tag, which I believe was started by uh, Harriet Rosie. Um, I'll link the original video down below. And of course I'll link uh, manga hoarders video and channel down below as well so 10 questions I put a lot of thought into this but I probably should have put more the first one is the first graphic novel you read that one I really had to think about because I know I've been collecting single issues for at least a bit longer than I ever did before picking up a graphic novel but I believe the first one was Hellboy Seat of Destruction was right around when uh, the second movie came out, I guess. Yeah, I can't remember exactly then, but... Second question is your favorite graphic novel. Kind of a tough question there. Why would you limit yourself to one? I won't say it's my favorite. Let me see if I can do this. So here is uh, most of Hellboy and a bunch of other Mike Mignola stuff. Like I said, I don't know if I would say it's my favorite, but it is what I really enjoy to read. All the way up to uh, Lobster Johnson over here, even Baltimore. Anything Mignolaverse, I really do enjoy. If you're not surprised by that, wait till I get to the last question. <laughs> but yeah, favorite. Uh, Let's just say it's what I really enjoy reading the most. Number three, a graphic novel that disappointed you. I might get a lot of flack for this, but it would have to be Deadly Class. I gave this series two volumes and I was just completely disappointed. <laughs> I wouldn't, well, not completely, but I think uh, the biggest problem was that before Deadly Class I had read uh, Five Weapons and uh, I really enjoyed Five Weapons. Basically a similar, very similar plot but over here our main character, you know all of the characters in Five Weapons are so uh, enjoyable, very uh, charismatic, I don't know, our main character spends most of the time you know trying to save his life while at the same time trying to save everyone else's life and uh in deadly class our main character is just a dick <laughs> you know he doesn't give a crap about anyone else dying or whatever as long as he gets his revenge so maybe it was the fact that um i was having different expectations they are completely different storytelling um, but yeah, Deadly Class, I, uh, I know it has its following, you know, I, I enjoy Remender's work, just not in Deadly Class, I guess. <laughs> Question number four, a graphic novel you would like to reread? Most of the stuff on my shelf I would like to get back to at least once more. Maximilian Rieta's White Donkey, Terminal Lance. It was a very fun read when I read it. If you're into war stuff, if you're into boot camp stories, it's very slice of life, very character driven. I I really enjoyed it. Every time I look at the spine on my shelf, I just wanna I just wanna pull it off the shelf and read it again. Very simple art. It's still very nice. Number five, a graphic novel you would recommend to everyone. I don't know. I, I'm not very good at recommendations. <laughs> I kind of suck at it. Um, you know, it just depends on what people enjoy, what you're into at the moment, I guess. I'm going to stretch it and say Last Man. This is a series. Has at least... Uh, six books that have come out from first second but 
I really did enjoy uh, Last Man. It's by a bunch of French authors, so it feels like a comic book. It feels like a manga, but it's very European. Um, and I think a lot of people will find something to like about the series. At least I hope they would. Uh, maybe it'll just help them uh, continue publishing it because <laughs> I think it's been canceled in the US. Question number six, a graphic novel with art you love. This was an even harder question. Everything I pick up is because of the art. Some might say story trumps uh, poor art. I'm kind of the reverse. I, otherwise, why would you read a graphic medium if uh, it's not for the art, right? I decided to go with uh, Wolverine Weapon X. This, of course, is by Barry Windsor Smith. He did some great stuff with this. The colors alone are so vibrant at times. The character design is flawed, but he put so much detail into some stuff that it just looks amazing. Um, so, yeah. Weapon X by Barry Windsor Smith has some very beautiful art. But like I said, there's tons of stuff. It just depends on what I'm enjoying. You know, the art style can vary from super realistic to cartoonish to, I don't know, I just enjoy it all. Number seven, a graphic novel you wish was a series, slash you wish was longer or a series. Um, Space Mullet by Daniel Warren Johnson. This only has one volume. It says number one, but I don't think he's uh, going back to it. He started it as a web comic, I believe. He's doing Extremity now. So maybe when he wraps up Extremity, he'll go back to uh, Space Mullet. He wrapped up the story pretty good with this volume, but there's a lot of characters that he could go back and develop. It looks like he touches up on some that he wants to go back and look at, but who knows when he'll, he'll get back to it, right? He has to pay his bills, <laughs> so he's got to do other stuff. Number eight, a graphic novel that made you laugh. I know I've read some funny stuff, but I think I'm going to have to go with Headlopper. Um, just the character of the witch head, freaking hilarious. I mean, even the Headlopper is uh, funny at times, even though he's always serious. But the banter between both of them and... It's just uh, it's just funny stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, that one made me laugh. I guess a close second, I would say maybe Dave. Dave is just a crazy, hilarious, stupid story <laughs> about robots. Um, I don't know why they had uh, Fiona Staples do the cover. This looks terrible. But anyways, uh, yeah, The Headlopper. Graphic novel that made me laugh. Number nine, a graphic novel that took you out of your comfort zone? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna go with uh, Next Testament by Clive Barker. I don't have the graphic novel for this. I have the 12 single issues. I think it was divided into three, three volumes. And uh, I guess I'll, I would say just because of the uh, interpretation of the subject matter. That is what kind of uh, took me out of my comfort zone. It's a great story. Um, you have a guy basically looking for God and what happens? He finds God and God is a prick. <laughs> so if you're religious in any way, Old Testament God here is not what you would expect. Close second, I would say the God damned, which is even worst in my opinion <laughs> but i love both of the stories uh if you get a chance to find a next testament and you're not offended check it out yeah and the final question number 10 a graphic novel on your tbr or wish list might surprise you but here's uh, basically what i have in my backlog uh more Magnolia Burst, basically. 
And then some uh, BPRD, Hell on Earth, BPRD. I just haven't got to these because, uh, oh, Black Widow, Batman, TMNT. Because I'm missing volumes in between. I can't finish reading BPRD because I'm missing like two volumes. And I can't read the end to Hell on Earth because I'm missing volume 14. Yeah. So, yeah, that was... Uh, my answers to the graphic novel tag. I'm hoping you found something appealing out of my answers. I've never been good at categorizing things. Uh, sometimes I like stuff for no reason. And uh, sometimes I dislike stuff for no reason as well. <laughs> that was that was a tag. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, if you haven't been tagged, and you want to do the tag please go ahead and do so um, I am not planning on tagging anybody because uh, there's tons of people I could probably tag for this <laughs> but I'll just say if you want to do the tag please go ahead and do it uh, I'll try to put in the questions as well in the description but of course you could always go to the manga hoarder or uh, the original tag video from uh, Harriet Rosie, Rose, I'm sorry if I pronounced the last name wrong. I'm sure they have the uh, questions in their description. So uh, yeah, please go ahead and do so. And thank you for watching again.